30 people are homeless tonight after an apartment fire burned multiple units near 84th and Q. Today's heat even had an impact on first responders, sending one to the hospital. Reporter Alex McLuhan has more on this destructive blaze. There was already about, I don't know, six, seven fire trucks here praying. Oh my gosh, I hope it's not my unit. Cambria Kelly came home from work around 3 o'clock to find firefighters dousing her neighbor's apartment. She watched and waited to learn about the fate of her apartment directly below. Firefighters told Kelly her place has heavy water damage, and tonight she's one of 30 people displaced by this fire. To add on to all of the bad luck I've had this year, I feel like I can't catch a break, so it's just one thing after another. Another challenge is the sweltering heat, also proving to be difficult and extremely dangerous for firefighters. 114 degrees is the heat index here as firefighters work to determine what caused the fire at the Pines at Q Plaza apartment Saturday afternoon. That heat and exhaustion got to one firefighter who was sent to the hospital. Many of the first responders wore gear totaling up to 80 pounds. Extra crews and medics had to be called in to help one another through the temperatures. With this type of heat and, and the adrenaline, the heat builds up, and then you have the external heat forces, and uh, they, don't, they don't normally last very long. The guys were becoming dehydrated and exhausted very quickly. For two and a half hours, crews tended to the scene, all while trying to keep cool on the job. At the same time, tenants like Kelly got assistance from the Red Cross and Salvation Army. She's been able to stay positive even after losing her home and what she says has already been a tough year. I came home to, from work to find all of this happening. It's frustrating because it sucks, but at least as far as we know, nobody was in there. And so at the end of the day, at least we're all alive and safe. Alex McLoon, 3 News Now. Alex, thank you. Tenants who are displaced are encouraged to reach out to the Salvation Army or Red Cross for assistance. OFD says the cause of the fire was careless disposal of smoking materials on a balcony.